Hello, my beautiful Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. Let's see what your Zodiac reading is. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. Please remember to use discernment in order to take what resonates and leave what does not. If the message doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. You're always welcome to watch the other readings here on the channel. So let's look at Distant Horizon, number 36. Oh, and on the back of the deck, you have Journey, number 10. So as always, I love when we use the Kipper booklet. It's fun to read, honestly, and it just gives us more insight. So let's see, number 10 or number 36, oops. Let's see. Okay, this is an enabling and usually positive card. Um, literally, this card represents yearnings, dreams, hopes, wishes. Um, the significator is sailing to a new shore. Okay, literally, the card is the sea, lakes, bodies of water, continents, faraway places, foreign people, and greater distances than the pathway. Hmm. From this sense of foreign contact, it also suggests opening your mind, developing new views, becoming more spiritual or philosophical. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let us see. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Tell us more about number 36, Distant Horizon. Tell us more. You have the Nine of Swords. See what your message is, Cancer. Oops. You have the Five of Swords. You have the World. Okay. Distant Horizon. Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, and the World. You know, the Nine of Swords, this is a big action card. Specifically, it's a swift action taker. This is someone who seizes an opportunity immediately. This is someone who takes action um, without really fearing the consequences. Um, the Nine of Swords really knows how to uh, take charge fearlessly. The Nine of Swords can even be someone who's a little bit military-like. Um, you know, maybe someone who's just very... Um, Sometimes military-like, sometimes even aggressive. But just know the Knight of Swords takes that call to action, okay? Um, I want us to look more into the Knight of Swords here. Page of Pentacles. The Magician. The hangman. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. The magician. The hangman. Hmm. The Page of Pentacles could represent someone who is giving or presenting a financial offer. Um, or it could represent either you're going to be extending a financial offer or someone's going to be extending a financial offer to you. If it's not that, the page of pentacles could be someone who's looking for meaningful, valuable connections, okay? Um, hmm. I want us to look more into this page of pentacles here. You have the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is burdens. Ten of Wands is stress and worries. Tell us more about this page of pentacles. Tell us more about this page. Then you have the Emperor. Maybe you're taking on too much burdens. Because I know the Emperor is someone who, you know, that's, it could easily be like a father figure or you don't have to be an, an actual father, but... The emperor is someone who takes, who's very responsible, very wise, very mature. Hmm. Tell us more. I want to know more about this page of pentacles here. Something significant about it. Three of pentacles. Hmm. 
working together. Okay. I do feel like something's something is about to take off in your life fairly quickly. I do feel like it's a financial offer or a work offer. Pentacles, the page of pentacles is good news in earthly matters. So it could be you making a purchase or you receiving money. Um, I feel like this offer, it's going to come with a big workload. Okay. It's going to come with a big workload here because I see that you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to take on many responsibilities. Pentacles are very valuable when it comes to earthly matters. So this could be something where if you're being offered money or you're being offered a, a work opportunity, you're going to make a lot of money, but I feel like the response of the workload is going to be a lot, perhaps. The emperor is someone who takes charge. So I do feel like you're the emperor is typically like the boss of all bosses. So I do feel like you're going to be the head of something. That's why you may have a lot of responsibilities. But you're sitting here as an emperor in the upright. So I, I do feel like you'll be able to handle this. The magician and when we clarify... Um, the page of pentacles furthermore we have the three of pentacles the three of pentacles is working together and collaborating something's about to i i i feel like the month of august is gonna there's gonna be a lot of action maybe the previous months have gone by slowly but it's because you were given time to rest and rejuvenate in order to prepare for this month of august because i feel like you're going to be taking lots of action here in the month of August. I feel like you're going to be working and collaborating with people, establishing very significant and valuable connections with people. The magician is someone, this is something that you've manifested for yourself. So perhaps this is like a dream come true. You know, maybe this is your dream job or a dream opportunity that's being extended to you. Um, but the magician is someone who's very hardworking, very skilled, and someone who really knows how to bring their manifestations to life, you know? The hangman, it talks about release, surrender, and letting go. You're going to be the two of cups. You're going to be coming, coming together with certain people here and working with them. Mm, six of pentacles, yeah. The six of pentacles represents being charitable, uh, maybe receiving gifts or offering gifts. There's something about the Six of Pentacles here. You may be so financially secure that you end up, you know, um, you end up being a very charitable person. I want us to look more at the Six of Pentacles here. Yeah, oh my, the Ace of Pentacles, a divine blessing of prosperity. A divine blessing of prosperity, growth, expansion, fertility. I feel like you're going to be very financially well off and I don't see you keeping the, the, the financial blessings all to yourself. I see you being a very charitable person and helping other people. That is wonderful. That's very, that's very good. Um, let's look at the hangman. I was looking at this hangman here. Clarify the hangman. Clarify the hangman. Okay. Four of cups. Yeah, I do feel like um, maybe for the previous weeks or previous months, the past months, You've been feeling very dissatisfied and unfulfilled, but tell, let me tell you, your dreams are coming to life. Your dreams are coming true. Um, you know, this month, I, I do feel like you're going to be booked and busy, Cancer. Something about this month here where I feel like you, you may not even have time to just, you know, lounge around like you were doing in the past. I feel like you spent a couple of months really resting, healing, recovering, and rejuvenating, and now it's action time, okay? It is. The Nine of Pentacles, you're going to be accomplishing many of your goals. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's very successful, very well accomplished, independent, self-sufficient. Wow. 
I want us to look at this Five of Swords because the Five of Swords talks about perhaps accepting defeat, surrendering and walking away. I feel like your dreams are, I feel like the, the Distant Horizon card is coming because you're about to be living your dreams. Your dreams are coming to life. Clarify the Five of Swords. The Star. Five of Swords, the Page of Wands, Clarify the Five of Swords, Four of Wands, the Five of Swords, Release, Surrender, Letting Go, the Star, the Star is Wish Fulfillment, the Star is Hope, the Star is Faith. Hmm. The page of wands, good news, good news that's gonna you know make you very optimistic and passionate. It's gonna it's gonna give you something to look forward to. Then you have the four of wands here. I almost feel like perhaps you had to leave something behind to pursue your dreams and goals. You were brave and courageous enough, self-disciplined and obedient enough to leave something behind in the past to walk away from something. But when you walked away from it, just know that you walked away from it with your pride and dignity and you started to pursue your dreams and goals. You started to manifest and now your wish fulfillment is here. Whatever you walked away from in the past, I feel like it was for the best because look at where you're at now. Look at the path that you took. Perhaps what didn't work out for you in the past was surely a redirection onto a much better path for you. And now you're living a much better life. I don't feel like you were, I don't feel like you were defeated. Maybe you felt defeated, but I actually feel like you walked away as the victor because look at where your life is. Look at all the blessings here. Look at all the abundance that you're receiving. The page of wands is good news and the four of wands, mm, it could... It could represent good news or good idea, a good idea. And if you pursue this good idea, you'll receive good news. So I feel like that's what's going on here. I feel like, first of all, you walked away from something here with your pride and dignity and you started to focus on yourself. You started to nurture, um, you started to nurture your own dreams and goals, your own wishes, right? And with a page of wands, maybe even you pursued certain you ended up pursuing an idea, a good idea that you got and you pursued it. And now the Four of Wands is redemption. Four of Wands is redemption, celebrations, coming together. It's a big commitment and marriage card, but I feel like it's saying you walked away from something that wasn't serving you well and it gave you time to focus on yourself and nurture, nurture your own dreams and goals. You became very creative as well the page of wands and you started to you know get really good ideas that you ended up pursuing and now the four of wands is redemption wow um, six of cups yeah this is all about the past i feel like you left something behind from the past but you're coming together with something new you know whatever you lost in the past just know you're you're it's going to be restored in your life, but it's going to be 10 times better. Clarify the Six of Cups. Yeah, you left the past behind. The Six of Cups is all about the past. And um, the chariot is moving forward victoriously, right? So you left the past behind. Maybe you realized that something from your past just couldn't be rekindled or reconciled. And the chariot is moving forward, okay, optimistically, victoriously. The, the chariot is someone who's very determined. It could even represent someone who went from rags to riches. And this is you, right, watering the seeds that you planted, okay? And now it's time for you to bear the fruits of your labor, Let's look at the world. The world represents successfully completing something in your life um, and therefore receiving the positive results, the desirable outcome that you've been wanting. Clarify the world. I do feel like you've, you've successfully completed certain chapters, cycles in your life. Absolutely. The Eight of Cups just confirms that. The Eight of Cups is someone who's walking away from 
you know, something, a person, place, or thing that really they invested lots of their time, lots of time, love, energy, emotions, because the maximum cup in the deck is 10. You invested eight out of 10 cups into something from your past, but this is you here with the backpack on. You had to walk away with your pride and dignity and go towards something much better for yourself, okay? Um, I feel like you worked really hard. I feel like you invested so much of yourself into something that you had to eventually walk away from. But you are a knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles is someone who's very hardworking, very patient and diligent. And it doesn't matter how long it takes. The knight of pentacles always makes sure to complete what they started. I almost feel like some of you, when you walked away from this past situation, maybe for some of you, you had to reestablish yourself. Like you had to start completely over, but it was for the better. Okay. It's never too late to start over. Heck, you can know someone for 10 plus years and they can treat you horribly. And then you meet someone and you know them for like a few months and they've treated you better than that person who you knew for 10 plus years. I feel like something happened here where you had to end something and walk away from it. And then you decided to completely start over, to start fresh, to start new. Um, and what you what you don't realize is you were going through a rebirth. Okay, and now it's time for you to start this new life for yourself. And I feel like it's going to be so much more secure, so much more fulfilling. And um, no matter how long the journey was, you are right where you need to be. And you're making an arrival into this brand new beginning. Tell us more about this world card here. Yeah, everything is fine. The things that you closed out from your past, those cycles that you ended, it was necessary. In order for the next door to open, you have to close the other door, right? You have to close one door and open the next door. So that's 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 why, okay? Yeah, there was a lot of, uh, you know, I feel like you really had to remove yourself from a lot of people places and things like you really had to exit several people's lives maybe there were times where you even secluded yourself because i know the five of pentacles it could be someone who feels abandoned and left out in the cold but i feel like this was by your free will like you chose to uh, um, separate yourself depart from other from those people places places or things and of course it felt lonely but I just feel like those people, places, and things just weren't good for you, okay? Um, I definitely see many lonely nights here, especially with you being being up in your head, you know? Maybe um, you stayed in your head a lot because you didn't have much company around. Um, so you were, but that was your time for reflection and reevaluation. Many times when God is about to elevate us, we will have to face our season of isolation because where he's taking us, not everyone can go with us, you know? The justice card is here. You spend a lot of nights, a lot of days being lonely or being alone, right? Or you felt lonely, but you were not alone. Um, I definitely feel like some of you really have a powerful spiritual team. Of course, the Most High watching over you, your guides, you know, helping you to make great decisions for yourself. That moments, the moments that you spent by yourself, it brought you justice because you were able to get a peace of mind. You were able to rest. Oh my gosh, Spirit just told me rest. You were able to rest and really rethink, you know, make better decisions about where you wanted your life to head. And you gave yourself justice by doing that. You gave yourself justice by giving yourself, you know, peace. Uh, by giving yourself rest, by separating yourself from anything that wasn't serving you well. You gave yourself justice. And I've said it before on the channel, many times in life, the justice is simply walking away from people, places, and things that just don't serve us well. They don't deserve you. They don't deserve your time, your love, your effort. Walk away and give yourself that justice, okay? The justice card represents getting what you deserve. And indeed, this is your season of receiving all that you deserve. I feel like Cancer August is going to be a very special month for you all, okay? 
So I'm going to end the reading here. Thank you guys so very much, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising. I really hope that this message helps. I hope it resonated with you. And if you're interested in, in connecting with me more, definitely check out the description box. All of my information will be there and only there. Be careful. There are scammers that like to impersonate tarot card readers. I'll never reach out to you to take your money, okay? And all of my information can only be found in the description box of my videos. That way you'll know that it's me and not someone who's pretending to be me, okay? Um, but if you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Take care and many blessings to you.